what today is. Yeah. Hallie's graduation day! Yeah. Oh, today is Hallie's last day of school, and we are spelling, we are, we are throwing a big graduation party tonight. So here's the thing, because she's graduating early, she's not walking with her class. And so she still wanted that experience and the ceremony and the speeches. And I'm like, well, congratulations, you're Valley Victorian. You have the highest grades because you're the only one graduating right now. <laughs> so she actually has written a speech for tonight. I'm doing a speech at her ceremony. Um, Aaron's hand handing her her diploma and it's just gonna be a really, really special night. So we are currently setting all up for it. Aaron's brother is in town and his wife Summer um, from Chicago, which is so fun. They've been in since last night, I love them. Um, so first we're gonna go out to lunch with them. Then we'll get home, finish setting everything up, and do the ceremony. Yay! Go. Aurora win. Aurora win. You're right. Aurora is fast. Two one. Run. Run. I win. No, yes. Is so bad. It doesn't matter. No, it does match. It does. Just fine. Are you guys fighting about what shoes he's the wearing? Black ones. The black ones would go perfectly. She is right. The white doesn't quite go. Hey, you know what? No, stop. Let me grab your. Don't finish tying because you're not. Give me my shoe back, girl. Come on, Aurora. Let's go get his other shoe. Hannah is not letting you have a bad shoe game. It's not going to happen. <laughs> they are a little hard to get on. They're different, yeah. but they're cute. The blazers are super. Yeah, high. Hannah bought them for so, him the oh, other day. Right. Oh, nice. I got mom and I matching ones, That's and then I Ariana mean. bought him in. Oh, my God. Yeah. I got it. Those look good. Swagger. Ow, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Steakhouse, which we've never done before, but I guess they bring food up to your table and like shake it off or something. I don't know. We're gonna figure this out though. It looks really cool. So this little fun thing, you leave it on green and they just keep bringing you food. <laughs> like me and stuff. And then if you put it sideways, it's like ready for dessert or you're like want your chat. And then, and then bread is like you're just done. Like give me a minute. <laughs>
Yeah, I woke up this morning and I started singing, you know, from Frozen. It's oh, coordination, coordination day. today! Yeah, Aww. I was singing that in my head. So how was your last day? It was good, it was super chill. Um, I said bye to my friends. Yeah. Aww. I cannot believe you're graduating. And I can't wait for your graduation ceremony. It's yeah, amazing. All right, you better go start getting ready. She got the cutest dress. You have to see this dress that she got for her graduation. This is the dress. It is so pretty. It's sparkly. It's gonna look so good with a purple cap and gown. Yes. Ah! Ah! Let's... Are you doing your own makeup or are you having Yeah, I'm doing my own someone makeup. do it for you? Mark, it's looking good. My little engineer brother Thank that he you. didn't know. <laughs> So I've had Mark do a few, or Mark has volunteered to help me out with a few projects, but this one he was like, okay, I can do that. Pulling the Tesla in the house didn't work out so well. <laughs> it was a good try though. It we was. tried. It was. Best effort. <laughs> I can't lift it. I thought I was going to be on awesome. Then here, you take the camera. Okay. Hi. No. Ready? It's heavy, huh? Frick. Yeah, that's what I said. Mine has no armrest, so it's really light. Cynthia. Listen, I gotta get this. Memories. Underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. Baby, all I want for Christmas is you. I have my whole speech written out. I know exactly what I'm gonna say. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. We're doing speeches? Yes, we have to do speeches. I can do a speech. I can make up a speech in two seconds in my head. Hallie is all ready. All right, Hallie. Kindergarten. This is your kindergarten graduation. Congratulations. <laughs> so my speech. I hope I don't make you cry. No. I actually cried writing it and then I made this little montage video and it literally I cried all morning and dad came up there and was like, why are you crying? I'm like, if it made you cry, then I'm probably gonna cry. It's gonna be an emotional night, but a great oh, one. Well. It's a good yeah. cry. It's like, yeah, it's happy to a celebration. Yeah. Oh, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Love it. Well, I can dress how. You guys are so beautiful. We are all set up, but I'm kind of panicking inside just a little bit because I didn't make people RSVP. I didn't even think about it in my mind. And so I think more people are coming than we expected. And Hallie was super hungry, so she ate before everyone gets here. Smart, actually. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have to fight for the food. 
That's true. That's true. And you won't be hangry. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to go over the plan right now um, because we have no idea. I was like, wait, was I supposed to make programs? I've never hosted a graduation before. Ceremony. Me neither. <laughs> so we're going to wing it, but it's going to be great. Hopefully. Callie, I'm so proud of you. You succeeded so much. And have a nice life. Holly, I'm so proud of you. Great job. I know graduating is nerve-wracking, but it's so, so fun. You earned it. You, you did all the work, and now you're done. Unless you go to college, then, then, then you still got a ways to go. But for now, you're done. So I'm so proud of you, and I love you, and great job. So excited to see what you end up doing in this crazy world and you're gonna do great and I'm jealous of you that you just graduated but I'm happy for you so yeah love you good job Holly I'm proud of you I'm glad you made it My advice to the graduate, AKA Hallie, I love you sweetheart and I'm so proud of you, but my advice for the future is take your time, figure out what you wanna do, and it's okay to try things and it's okay to fail because eventually you're gonna find what you were meant to do in this life and you're gonna rock it. So I love you and congratulations. Hey, congratulations Hallie. in like five minutes, so it's kind of a struggle right now. <gasps> okay, we gotta go find this hat.
sausage with white like, bread at my house. Aww. You got the invitation? Did you like this? Yes. <laughs> Crisis averted. Found it. <laughs> Hannah found the hat. Good Thank job. you, Hannah. Good you good saved job. the day. Good job, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Melinda helped. And thank, thank you, you so Melinda. Yeah. Woo! Thank you to everyone that helps her. Okay, are you ready for this biggest moment? Yeah. So far in your life? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this. Holly is almost ready. I think she's gonna be walking out of the bathroom real soon. Logan's talking to her. Holly, we're ready. Oh, you look so great. Thank you. Wow. Oh, congratulations. I want it on this. excited for Hallie to graduate. This is so proud of her though. This is yes. such a big moment. Yes. It looks like everyone is here so we're gonna get started. Oh! I want to thank you all for coming tonight and celebrating <coughs> and supporting Hallie with us in graduating. I would like to start off tonight with a little joke. It's something I learned from Joel. So, why did the Eminem graduate high school? It wanted to be a smarty. Oh! siblings come up and say a couple of words to her. So I will open the floor. What? I'm going first. I'm going first. I'm going first. I'm going first. Yes. Oh my god. You know her. Oh, you're too kind. You're too kind. Callie, I'm so proud of you. Listen, to be honest, I thought you were going to be the first one. But it's okay. You got this. You got this. I'm proud of you, okay? You're done. Unless you go to college, then unfortunately, I think you're done. Other than that, you're done. I'm proud of you. Smartest person in the house. Keep it up. I love you. Thank you. Okay, I'm off. Oh, Max. Oh, Max got a yeah, Max. <laughs> yeah. Go back. Max. Yeah. Hey, I'm so proud of you. Um, I just wish you the best in the future, and yeah, it's good to see you graduate. Oh, my bad. Here's a letter for you. I'm just not going to look at any of you. I'm going to look at Hallie, but why am I about to cry? There's no reason. Anyway, um, why am I about to cry? I don't even cry. <laughs> I can actually do this. Okay. Um, I don't even cry. Um, I'm gonna miss stitching with you. Oh, 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 Sorry, but I'm gonna miss stitching school with you. <laughs> Taking the car. Anyway, okay, it's okay. It's we okay. did have fun time. We did have fun, but it's okay. But in like all seriousness, I'm really proud of you and. Go ahead, Harlan. Holly, you did amazing. I'm so proud of you. I wish you the best of luck in the future. You got this.
thank you everybody for who spoke. And next, we are going to hear from this graduating class, this valid Victorian. She had the best grades, the best attendance, the best dress, the best style, the best everything. She's the only one in the class. of the class of 2021, aka me. <laughs> and yes, Alex and I are technically graduating in the same year, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's finally happening! I'm graduating. I'm still wrapping my head around it, but 13 long hard years and way too many essays later, I'm officially done. I still remember elementary school and learning about ladybugs, writing in cursive, heads up, seven up, multiplying, and math. I learned the other one in middle school. Um, oh, and fake marriages, which actually happened a lot more often than you think. And for elementary school kids. Um, I loved school, even though I didn't have a lot friends, I was still really good at math, which was pretty cool. <laughs> Middle school was something else. Um, I call those my crusty years. And just for convenience, I didn't exist during that period of time. <laughs> and high school. It was bittersweet for me, I mean, from transferring right before my freshman year, to being taken out of sophomore year by COVID, and then leaving in the middle of my junior year for uh, a therapy therapy program, and finally, transferring to an entirely different school for senior year. <laughs> it's been a trip, but let me tell you, I've made so many memories, and I'll cherish them until I'm probably like 45. <laughs> <laughs> I really couldn't have done it without the support of my loved ones who were always there and helped me when I was at my lowest. I laughed, I frowned, I smiled, I cried. A lot. <laughs> but guess who has two thumbs and made it through high school? This girl. <laughs> so my advice, just one more step. Don't give up. You can do it. Keep moving. Keep pushing. Keep reaching. Just one more step. Just do it. Nike said that last one, so props to them. Um, thank you all for coming out to celebrate with me. Special thanks to my mom for putting this all together. And... For all of those who made it happen. Ah, okay, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> something magical. From seeing you take your first breath to hearing your sweet cry, it felt surreal. I always knew that you were special though, and over the years I'm constantly amazed at how special you truly are. First in kindergarten, when a fourth grader was picking on a third grader, you told the bully to stop. And I couldn't believe that a kindergartner would step up to a fourth grader as you told me the story, you expressed that the third grader was so sad and went, you went by the bus, or by 
where he was sitting on the bus and you sat next to him. And you made sure that nobody picked on him. Your exact words to me were, I don't want him to feel sad. I don't want anyone to feel sad. In that moment, I knew you were different. In that moment, I learned to always be the rainbow in someone's cloud. Second was in first grade with a girl who sat behind you in class. Her mom somehow got my phone number and called me. She told me a story of why. She said, your daughter is something special. Then she told me that she had planned a princess tea party for her daughter's birthday. She had to pay per person, so she only let her daughter invite five people. Um, she said, when your daughter found out that she wasn't invited, these were her words. It's okay, I hope you have a great birthday, and maybe I'll get invited next year. The girl went home and told her mom that Hallie didn't make me feel bad, and she still wished me a happy birthday. Through tears on the phone, the mom said to me, I have bought an extra ticket and I would like your daughter to come to the tea party. I want my daughter surrounded by people like your daughter. In this moment, Hallie taught me a positive mindset always brings positive things. I can go on and on with stories just like these, but we don't want to be here all night. Um, so on Hallie's Christmas list this year, she made a very cute yes. list. <laughs> but one of the things on her list was a handwritten note with life advice. And when I read this, I laughed out loud. <laughs> because as I read it, Hallie's experienced a lot in her short time. And with every situation Hallie has been through, she's overcome and come out stronger and wiser. So I was like, really, what can I share with her at this point? Her empathy and love towards others um, will always take her so far in life. But I do have a couple of things. So, it is impossible to change the direction of the wind, but you can adjust your cells to reach your destination. Life will always throw you curveballs. Use it to, or I used to call it expectation disappointment. I always expect for things to happen a certain way in a certain time frame, and rarely does that ever work out for me. And it often leaves me with a lot of disappointment. I have learned, though, that all of these curveballs are just lessons, another chapter in our books, as Hallie has taught me. We have had some very hard chapters over the years, but with a little adjustment of our expectations, most of them have turned into huge blessings on self-love and acceptance. Last and final advice for Hallie, and this is a big one, so listen up. Okay. <laughs> Isaac has a lot of advice for you too. Okay. When you care too much about what other people think, you will always be their prisoner. And you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. For so many years, I was a huge people pleaser. I wanted anyone and everyone around me to be happy. For so many years, I believed that that's how it was. And still to this day, I do want everyone to be happy, but I've discovered that everyone has their own path. Be the light in the room, be a listening ear, be the solid rock for someone to fall on, but never wear a mask to make that happen. When you are your true self, that is when the magic comes out. Just be you. You don't need to hide behind a fake smile. You don't need to always feel joy. You don't need to pretend to be someone you're not just to make them happy. When all of your makeup is off, your sweatpants are on, and you're sitting all alone by yourself, your true self comes out. Be that, bring that. And in every situation, I promise, you will be filled with love and acceptance. And you'll truly, truly feel whole at that point. Your true authentic self is what makes you special. I often joke that Hallie was such a good baby and so special that she made me want 20 kids. <laughs> I joke about it, but part of a piece of it is very true. <laughs> She has made me see the good in everyone and showed time and time again that no matter how dark the day, the month, or the year looks, there's always light to be found. 
I am amazed by her beauty and strength every single day. I know you are going to go out to this world and do great things. Your life is such a beautiful story, and all the adventures you have ahead of you is your journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. I will always be your biggest cheerleader, and I will always be by your side. I love you. Come on, Crystal, show us that stomach. Wow, Hallie, this is you. About a week and a half, two weeks before you're here, Hallie. There's your dad. It's as simple as it seems, the twinkle in your eyes, the way that time slows down when you kiss me. As we fall asleep in a bed of butterflies, Close your eyes and say hi. Say hi, Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. Love, love, love. This is Hallie feeding Max lunch. On August 19th, Allie's four matches too. <laughs> it will never grow old, even when we grow up. It's up to us to stop and smell each rose. To the colors that we show, it's the feeling that we trust, and it's the brush that we both carry. You don't ever have to look too far. This is a new commercial called Skirts as Hair. You could buy them. They're only $3. And they have a great hairstyle. They come in red, pink, blue, and green. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. She can pose with them. How do you feel about going across? No. Yeah, in the green. 
the green. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to skip the rocks? She's, she's gonna skip going rocks swimming. and heels. She's gonna yeah. <laughs> oh, she's wearing heels. Okay. What if you took the heels off? What? It would be a really what? pretty picture. That's what I'm saying. Fall. She's gonna fall. Funny thing is, while I was setting up that video to play, I watched it real quick, hoping to get the crying out before all of this happened. <laughs> no, nope, that didn't happen. So, without further ado, I would like to go ahead and pass the certificate. Max. so many people in this room that love and support you. And if you need anything going into these future years of your life, you can count on anybody in this room to show up, to help you out. Call them, ask a question. If you just need a hug, I'm sure any one of these guys would be willing to do it. Thank you. <laughs> I can see
was so sweet. This is so sweet. you want another Get a picture of that. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Are you trying to imply that I don't clean? You're next? Yeah, I got that. Hey, what? That was things getting in my face. It's supposed to be my half. So I'm going to open all of my graduation gifts. Thank you so much to all of my friends and family that came and it was such an gave incredible me all the gifts. Night. It was so awesome. Aww. I will definitely remember it. <laughs> it was a night to remember. Yeah. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and open all these off camera, but I wanted to give you dad a nice graduation gift before we end this video. Wait, like, what? You ready? I was That's trying to have him gross. a part of it, but he's having way too much fun. Both of his brothers are here. They have not been all together since... It's been a long time. Like 15 years. So he's having way too much fun. We're just going to let him enjoy his night. <laughs> and he can watch when I gave you the... <laughs> Poor dad. No, he's good. He's having fun. Okay, so I didn't like prepare because I was planning the ceremony so I'm just gonna tell you your gift instead of you opening your gift. Okay. Makes sense. okay. Yeah. So, drum roll! Wow. Dad and I are gonna be taking you to Much for being here with us. We it's love all very of you. A special night. Yes. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.